Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a photo collage effect in Inkscape using just one image. And the first thing you need to do is go to the file menu import or just drag and drop an image in Inkscape. Next I'm going to use the create rectangles and squares tool to create a rectangle and I want the rectangle to be the same size as the image so I'm going to select the image, copy the width, then select the rectangle and paste the width here and I'll do the same thing with the height. Now once we do this, I'm going to select the image and go to the object menu, pattern, object to pattern. Next I'll select the rectangle, start the fill and stroke tool, and I'm going to select pattern fill. I'll close this for now, also delete this original image, zoom out, grab the node tool, click, and then I'm going to find these controls and I'm going to position the pattern inside of the object. Now let's zoom in and see, we need to position it a little bit better, again using this option. And this is good enough for now. Now with the create rectangles and squares tool, holding down the control key, I'll create a square. Then select and transform tool, click on this option to keep the aspect ratio and I'm going to type in a number. Next I'm also going to create a background with grey color. And lower the selection to the bottom. Now let's select the square. Use the fill and stroke tool to change the color to almost white. Then Ctrl D to duplicate this. Holding down the shift and Ctrl key I'm going to scale this down. Then I'll hold down the shift key and click on the bottom square to add it to selection and path difference. And we have a frame, I'm going to position it, click one more time and rotate it. Just a little more. Next control D to duplicate this. And again I'm going to position it and rotate it. And by the way a little tip. You can use another shape, it doesn't have to be a square, and positioning, rotating, entirely up to you. Just be careful not to go outside of the image. Sometimes you may position the frame in a way that you see here, we are going outside of the image, try to avoid that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is select the image, then holding down the shift key I'll select one of the frames, Control D to duplicate this and then move it over here, then I'll repeat this for the other two frames, selecting the image, selecting the frame, Control D to duplicate it, then holding down the Control key I'll move this over here. Now next thing I want to do is select this image shift click on this one and shift click on this one to add to the selection then go to path, object to path then with the node tool I'm going to select the first image and I'm going to start positioning these nodes in a way that the image doesn't go outside of the frame and also we are making sure that inside of the frame is filled with the image and I'm going to repeat the same thing with the other two images Finishing the last one. Next we need to group each frame with its image. So I'm going to hold down the shift key, make a selection, use the group option and I'm going to do the same with the other two. Make a selection then group it. Next I'm going to start the alignment tool and uh, with this frame selected I'm going to select this one, last selected, use these two options to align it and then I'm going to repeat this for the other two. Next I'm going to 
which you'll need to click away here then select shift select this one and this one and just move it over here and you see this is aligned now I'm going to also delete these we don't need them anymore now let's zoom in and we can add also a shadow here I'm going to close this select one of the framed images Control D to duplicate it then use this flat color option then change the color to black and also for the blur I'm going to type 4 for opacity 70 and then I'm going to position this and also use this option to lower the selection then select the other one and again control D flat color 4 70 for opacity again position this and I'm going to lower the selection and once you do that you can also use the arrow keys to do additional positioning now let's select the last one control D flat color 4 for blur 70 for opacity I'm going to position this lower the selection and then use the arrow keys to position it a little bit better next I'm going to select the background delete it and you can see the final result so that's it for this tutorial and I hope that it was useful if it was subscribe like the video leave a comment visit my channel that's it for now bye